É caçom, ó. So I, I actually dropped a video yesterday uh, when I arrived in Finland about uh, the incident that happened uh, on the issue of a COVID-19 test. So I received a lot of comment and uh, a lot of messages from people that are planning to visit Nigeria and people that are trying to leave Nigeria. Uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience, I must say. Uh, in Yoruba, I'm uh, how do they say it? Ilela bosimioko. And then there is this prayer. I want to ask you people, what is exactly the definition of oko and ile? I think a place where you call home is a place where you feel safe. And where you feel protected. So, Timbakuru and B, Timbalos in Nigeria, down your bounds of me, eh, along a jacket, a curio, could they live? Come on, by Miller in it. Because, eh, to be honest with you, I feel protected and I feel relieved here. I feel okay here. So, this is where I call my home right now. Um, before we left Finland, I actually went to Nigeria for, I mean, my, we, uh, I don't know if you guys know that I just lost uh, my dad. And uh, this was actually due to some issue that we would discuss, but maybe another day. Uh, but I have planned the trip quite a long time ago. I went with my uh, project coordinator. Uh, we went there for empowerment program. Uh, we went to empower our youth and then to train them uh, in the field of cleaning because that's what I do here. And this is me trying to give back uh, to my country. This is me trying to give back to the society where I grew up. And uh, before we left Finland, uh, my project coordinator called me and told me that uh, there's this requirement that we have to do uh, COVID-19 test before we, we we are going to be allowed to board the plane. So I went to the site and then everything was set up properly. It, it was it was really okay. Uh, to the extent that my project coordinator, who is from Finland, uh, she was asking me, how come everything was done perfectly, you know? Because it's very, very unusual. It's unlike Nigeria that uh, the, the website where you are going to register for the test, everything was well maintained, properly made. So, and I <laughs> just thought about it that, okay, this is the first time something like this is happening. And it is not because the government is trying to help us, but because at the end of it, they will be able to enrich their own pocket. Come to think of it, Last time when my brother traveled to Nigeria, it was like around three weeks ago, uh, she traveled through, through Kutonu because, I, I mean, I think it was three weeks or four weeks ago or even longer than that. And the, the whole border thing was still in place that time. You, you can't fly to Nigeria. So she flew in through Kutonu. And uh, they didn't ask him to do a test beforehand. The airline didn't ask him to come with a, a, a test result but on getting to Kuton, they register all of them at the port of entry for a test. They did the test and they collected their passport. Okay? So, and they asked them to come back, uh, I think, three days after for the test result and to collect their passport. So, this is what a sane country would do. I don't know why the Nigerian government will mandate us to do a test before we leave here you have to do a test you have to pay for another test in nigeria and then when we come back here we are still going to do another test so what this means is that before you leave europe or asia or wherever you're coming from depending on the time frame you might actually need to pay for your test i did my own test free of charge here 
but my my project coordinator wasn't that lucky uh she had to pay like around 261 euro mm -hmm. because uh she did the test uh, at a private hospital so she had to pay and this kind of increase your travel expenses unnecessarily after paying that when we got to Helsinki airport they actually asked us to present uh, evidence that we have actually registered for that test in Nigeria because this is the requirement. So we show them the receipt of payment and then they will generate a QR for you. So we show them that. I, I wasn't able to get that, but I, I got my receipt. So I showed them my receipt and they checked their website. They made calls in the end. Okay, they allow us to board. Uh, they will ask for two things. One, your test result from Finland. It's not like the Finnish government wants you to carry out a test before you leave, but because the Nigerian government wants you to do the test. And then, this is an unnecessary expenses. So, if you are in a country whereby you have to pay for the test, then think about the extra expenses. So, you pay this, and then, when you get to Nigeria, you do another test. They will say, probably maybe after five or six days after you, you have arrived in Nigeria, so you have to do another test. I think it's seven days, seven days. You have to do another test. So going back to my brother's case, the way the Benin Republic government have planned these things is exactly what we are witnessing in Europe. This is a very small country compared to Nigeria. So when you are traveling to Benin Republic, they won't ask you to do any test before you, you, you come into the, to the country. They won't ask you. And uh, you will pay at the airport. Then they will do the test. They will collect your passport, then they will ask you to come back for the result. Okay? And when you are flying back, they will conduct another test three days before your flight. And then you get the test result, and then you are allowed to fly back. So when they collect money from you, the same, you, you, don't, pay, you don't pay two times. You only pay one time, and then they will do two tests. And they won't ask you to do any test before you, wherever you're coming from. But when it comes to my own country, uh, you have to do one test here, and then you will do another test in Nigeria. The funniest part of it was that when my brother got to Nigeria, and then he was, he was going back for his passport, uh, he just told me that he, he can't stand the stress, that we should reschedule the flight and change, change, change the country. So we changed the flight to Lagos. And... Knowing fully well that uh, I had to do tests when I'm going in, so I thought that uh, uh, he, he, he need the same test. So we made a call to one laboratory in, in Lagos, I don't want to mention the name, and uh, we were told that, yeah, 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 it's part of the requirement. He has to do the test before, otherwise they won't allow him to leave Nigeria. So we asked them, how much is it? Uh, they said 90,000 Naira. They said 90,000 Naira. So, and that he had to do it, three to four days before he traveled. And uh, the saddest part of it was that this happened, I mean, this happened on the day when we were having my dad's uh, fourth day prayer. So he wasn't able to travel. He wasn't able to travel. And uh, the lab asked us to send his uh, saliva. So we sent his saliva and then we paid 90,000. Well, actually, I, I, I paid 80,000 Naira first. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, um, when we were supposed to get the test result, they were not ready to release the test result. This is the test that you were supposed to take for like 50,000 Naira. We pay extra 30,000 Naira and they didn't even actually want to release the test result. So I had to pay the extra 10,000 Naira before the guy released the test result. And on getting to the airport, he was so overwhelmed that he didn't even remember to tell me that, wait, this particular test, they didn't even ask him at the, at the airport. So he went back. And the same thing happened to us. We did the test. And uh, when we got to the airport, no one asked us about the test. No one asked us about the test. And immediately you're coming into Finland. As you are embarking from the, from the aircraft, they have set up a COVID-19 test center at the Helsinki airport. So before you are even exposed to the city life, you will take your test there. And they are not forcing it on us. They actually gave us two options. Uh, is either you take the test there or you go home and quarantine yourself for 14 days. So I chose the, the test option. 
So I did the test there. And it doesn't really matter whether you are a Finnish citizen or whether you are a foreigner or whether you are an asylum seeker. It doesn't really matter however you come into the country. You have, you, you have these two options. It's either you take the test and it's free of charge. They didn't actually charge us for it. So all in all, I took three tests. Two in Finland, one in Nigeria. And the only time I paid was the one that I took in Nigeria. This is really, really sad. I think this is just another way of our government extorting us of our, of our hard-earned money. Think about it. Each airline is um, allowed to carry 200 passengers. And let's say if we have like around 10 airlines coming to Nigeria on a daily basis, uh, on each airline, we are talking about around 10 million naira. Multiply this by 10. That is 100 million naira. And you are not, remember, you are not paying directly to the laboratory. You are paying to the government body who, I don't know how ever they, they, they are managing the money. They will give some token to the, to the laboratory where you are going to take the test. Because the, the cost of the test is not even up to 50,000 naira. This is a country, Finland is a country that cares about humanity. It's not even actually all about their citizen. They care about humanity. And nobody is going to charge you for testing here. <laughs> My advice to everyone, I know Yoruba man sope ikao dogba. But if you have the opportunity, if you really have the opportunity, this is actually the time for you to invest on second citizenship for your children. Because they will definitely need it. We don't even know what will become of the country in the next 50 years, for example, or maybe in the next 20 years. When they are trying, when they are advising us in Finland to, to buy, to go uh, green by buying uh, electric cars, the government is subsidizing the tax and everything. It's when Nigeria is crazy about their oil. I don't even know who is going to buy that oil in the next 10 or, or 20 years. Sometimes we actually talk about the population, oh, the reason why Nigeria is not okay is because of the population. But believe me, Finland is a country of 5 million. But they have plan of 50 years and 100 years to come. And this is the reason why people don't even want to go back to Nigeria. Imagine me with a family of 5. I have to pay uh, around 120 euro for each member of my family. That is around 600 euro. Aside the flight ticket, logistic, feeding, and accommodation when you get to Nigeria. So tell me, if I'm not financially buoyant enough, am I going to be able to actually even take my children to visit my own country? Or am I going to be able to take my wife to visit my own country? And this is the reason why you see people stay in Europe, Asia, or America for 5, 10 years, even without visiting that country. This is sad. It's really, really sad. Oh... A friend of mine told me one story. He went to Nigeria before the, the outbreak. I think he went in, uh, he went in, in, in February, or actually probably maybe it was in January. And uh, he has Finnish citizenship and he has Nigerian citizenship. So when he got to Nigeria, then the lockdown started. And then they blocked all the, the border and everything. So he wasn't able to come back to Finland. I think he stayed there for like around three months or four months until the European government came to their rescue. They organized a chartered flight for all the European citizens that are presently in Nigeria, I think Nigeria, Ghana, Benin Republic, Togo, in the western part of the, of the continent. A chartered flight. And they didn't pay a cobble. This is because a same country will care 
about their own citizen. They don't even actually care whether these people have dual nationality or not. They organize a chartered flight to bring them back to Finland and to other part of Europe. Once again, my advice for you is if you really, if you are financially buoyant enough, this is the time to invest on second citizenship for you and your family because we don't actually know where the country, the whole country is going to. Uh, let me see. So tell me. Right now, the country is giving me extra job. You know why I say that? They are giving me extra job because I've been a patriot. I've been trying as much as I could to imbibe the culture to my children. And now I have to explain to my kids because before you know it, they begin to see the difference between Finland and Nigeria. And that's when they will start asking me questions. So now I have to go to extra mile to explain to them that actually the country, the way the country is governed, doesn't really portray our culture and tradition as a Yoruba people. Or as Igbo, or as Aousa, or as Ibiobio. I really, I, 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 I felt so bad. Because... The country is exposing us as necessary, believe me. So, when people begin to say, Ilela Bosimioko, yeah, on Jodo Doro, Ibite Yobawa, Tio Nifo Kombale, Tia Bokbe Yelorie, Ibe Yangon Goni Le, Emma Sokbe, Olo Hajaka, Kelko Kodele, Emi Robo, Yama Shishamo. Because uh, people will say ah, it feels like home. That tells you that it's only the place where you feel protected and where you feel happy. That is the place you can call your home. That's the place you can call your home. So tell tell right now. Ibeni e mi wo ni le because Ibeni mutu wa protected Ibelo community bale Ibeni mi uti riwa la so kani koma ke mi pe ama kere o kode le o ama change e funa wa ibiti mo wa yi Ibeni le he boya we ya boya timbalo Nigeria boya o kori Nigeria ba mutu le kere Nigeria wa sibi boya ire wolo meme mo fe ko wa sibi ire wolo wa Nigeria ti o fe ko wa sibi. Even the country like Benin Republic, they are doing it better. I just explained to you now their own procedure. You come into the country, you pay them at the airport, you, you, you do the test right there at the airport. And then when you are flying back, you do another test. And you, you pay only one time. Benin Republic. But it's a different case entirely in Nigeria. So you will do, in the end, you, you will do three tests. That thing is, 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 is very, very unpleasant. I don't even like taking the test. I don't like taking the test. Because it's, it's, it's very, very unpleasant. Very, very uncomfortable. And just because I want to go to Nigeria, I have to go through that stress. Another thing happened yesterday when, when I got to the airport. They have new law and restriction about what kind of thing you can bring in now. But... It was really funny. When we got to the airport, my project coordinator went first, and everything was smooth. She's a Finnish, she's a Finnish citizen, I am a Finnish citizen. But when it got to my turn, and I handed my passport over to the immigration officer, he checked, and then he continued checking. He wasn't actually supposed to hold my passport for that long, so I knew something was wrong immediately. Okay, passport in my Ogbeni, put your government something to your bank passport in you. Then later, they asked me where was I coming from. Said from Nigeria. 
said okay and that's actually the reason why he was checking that passport it wasn't a nigerian passport though it was a finnish passport though but he was checking and checking and checking why because they already scanned my baggage and they found some food stuff there and uh, because of all these restrictions they delayed me at the airport for almost three hours i felt really really bad they they checked all my passport everything they checked passport they checked my baggage check everything and then in the end they apologized that they were doing their job they just have to make sure that we are not bringing anything most especially from the west african country into the country so whether you like don't become a Finnish citizen become a danish or whatever we will still continue to face the problem God. I think I explained what happened when my dad died. But what I didn't tell you guys was that 90% of the people, patients that were in the same ward with my dad, lost their life. 90% of those people lost their life during the fourth day when we were having my dad's uh, fourth day prayer uh, because my uncles they collected uh, numbers they share numbers in the world with people that are the same patients in the same world they, so they share their number and uh, during the fourth day prayer uh, they were trying to check on those people they tried to call them and that is when we got to know that uh, Ah, hello, Baba Labaja, Bao Nishawa, Baba, the Lara Daddy, ah, Daddy to go. And some people also call them. So I'm telling you, 90% of those people in the same world with my dad lost their life. Just because the doctors went on strike. They went on strike not because they weren't paid their salary. But because they were fighting for some incentive that has to do with COVID-19. My uncle told me when they asked them to leave in the middle of the night, they told them to allow them to stay till morning. Then, because we we're not from Milan, so then they would look for a private hospital where they would move my dad to, and then they would be able to get ambulance to take him there. They begged them, they begged the doctors, they begged the authority. They said they had to leave. And in the end, they just have to find their way. When they insisted that they were not going to leave, you know what they did? They said, now everyone is on strike. The security went on strike. They cut the power. My dad was on oxygen. They cut the power. They cut the water. They cut the security. They cut everything. My dad was Colombo. That's how your Bible will say it. And then they started going around to look for, 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 for the nearest hospital where they take him to. And then in the end, they found a private hospital. But my dad lost his life less than 24 hours when they got there. I was actually supposed to come back to Finland with this man. I was supposed to come back to Finland with this man. I... I actually finalized all his paperwork and he was actually supposed to come with me to get a very good treatment and they cut his life short just like that
En to ba kan lo mo o, ohun yen ni oro Nigeria. En to ba kan ohun lo mo. Sometimes we turn the deaf here. Ta ba ngbo gburu awon sele bayi. But Olorun je ka blue sele si dile eni kokon wa. Think about families that lost their life at that particular time. Like I said, 90% of the people in the same war with my dad lost their life. 90% because we call some of them and some of them called also. My brother told me that when they got to the private hospital, they brought one, one child. Something clogged his throat. And he, 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 he wasn't able to breathe very well. And they went to UTIH, University of Hospital Learning. They were on strike. Actually, they didn't even take any, they, were not, they weren't taking anybody anymore. And they have been to several private hospitals that night. It was a night of chaos. They've been to several private hospitals. They didn't take them. So they brought the boy to the same place where my family took my dad. And uh, the doctor was telling them immediately, when the boy was gasping for hair, the, the, the doctor was telling them that um, they need to move that boy to the nearest place because they don't have the right equipment to do the operation. So they have to move. They, they told them, the place where you're bringing the boy from is the place where they have the right equipment to operate this boy. So you have to take him there. So if you don't, you will lose this boy in the next 10 minutes. And you know what happened? The boy died on the spot. He died on the spot. Five minutes after, he died. Think about people that will still be alive today. If not because of the chaotic status of, 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 our, of, of our country. Whenever there's a problem, the first thing that comes to the mind of the government is how they are going to be able to rip us off. That's the first thing that comes to their mind. Two hundred passenger, ten million naira. Ten airline per day, Lagos alone, hundred million naira. Think about Abuja. Another 100 million naira. And this money, uh, I can bet it that probably 20% of that money is going to the pocket of the lab. The remaining 80% is go, they, they, it's, it's going to their own pocket. So why do we always see avenue in, in, in whenever we have problem? We always use hardship and problem to extort ourselves. When the government are, are trying to, to, to make everything better in Europe, during the COVID-19, I, I stayed at home for almost 40, I mean, sorry, uh, four, four months. I was at home without working, though. And I was eating. Everything was okay. There were a lot of different opportunities for companies, owners, and for private, private individuals as well. Just to make sure that you have a good life. But when it comes to my own country, they always see an avenue. That is when they see opportunity to, to, to extort their own citizen of their own hard hand money. Why ask people to do tests before they leave here when you are going to conduct another test for them in Nigeria? Knowing fully well that if you have to do that test in a private hospital in Europe or America, you have to pay. But when you find yourself in that situation and you don't have option, you have to pay. And these people, they have their children all over the world, scattered all over the world. They don't have, their kids are not even studying in Nigeria. And they will tell you, come back and make this country better. Lossy book. Which country are we making better? Thanks, Baba. Oh, look up. Eka was Actually, to Actually, Moko, Moko, Moko. I just wanted to do this so that uh, 
I can create awareness because we have a lot of people that are planning to even go to Nigeria now. And we have some people that are trying to, to come out of Nigeria so that they get informed. Mr. Lee King Kong, do call Eshio. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining the show. Finito Brezi, Olu Abumi, Fajori, thank you. Tommy Lola, Adebola, thank you very much. Uh, Best Way Kitchen, thank you so much for joining the show. So me, I don't mean more people should fair people should fair so far on more means in you be the country that I'm, I've been trying to promote. By the time when they they begin to see the other side of the country, they are well protected now because anytime we are going to Nigeria, we go together. So they get all the protection that they need from from the parent. But what happened when they are actually exposed to the world? Nushira Aladu, thank you very much. What happens when they are exposed to the world, when they can see the true color of Nigeria? Shall we say, ah, that is a country they want to promote from Allah to join. And now I need to do extra work to actually explain to them that Nigeria is not Yoruba. Yoruba is not Nigeria. There's a difference between race, tribe, and a country. See in your bimo, if you want to have an obedient child, you don't enforce laws and regulation on them. Once you do that, they are going to turn against you. And that's exactly what is happening, happening in Nigeria right now. Exactly what is happening in Nigeria. They enforce everything on us. Like I said, when, when, when we came to Finland yesterday, we were given two options. Two options. And after we, we did the test, on getting out, there were some other people there waiting and telling us, I mean, advising us not to take the public transport. They were not kind of telling, they were not telling us, they were not forcing it on us that you don't, you cannot take public transport. No. They were just trying to encourage us, trying to advise us that it's actually safer if you take taxi or if your family member will come and pick you. They, they don't take public transport. But when I told them that I'm still traveling extra two hours to Turuku, then they told me that, okay, try to avoid contact with people. Nobody was forcing us. Nobody was forcing us to do anything. But in Nigeria, they will force everything on you. Forcing everything on their own citizens. Thank you very much, Tosin. Yeah, it's had a lot of work for me to do now. Because more mommy, of more 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 Ni our primary school ni Nigeria. For example, in most of all these private school, I want to talk about only two school. They are not even teaching our kids Yoruba anymore. One of my friends told me that in their school they don't have uh, his children don't have Yoruba teacher. So emi wo pe ti ijoba ba fe ton ba fe da ara adula mu ton ba fe en wa le mo ton de ti en wa le mo ready o nkan akoko ton ma koko se ni wi pe lati se igbegidi na fun wa fun awon mo wa lati ni eto eko to ye koro gbon gba ton ba keko ton lo sile iwe ti won o de ni 
ti e ko won oye ko ro ba o no se fe lo de fe dojo la to ma so pa won fe jagbara fun eto ati eto awon ko possible now ko possible so they actually gradually they are rendering us and our children handicap when it comes to literacy ngba do mo ba ti o ti o ti o ti ti eyan o ni owo lati to mo e bo se bo se ye bo se fe to ba o lo mo e se fe dagba oko kan ni oko kan ni awon eyan to ma to ma wa to 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 ma deni la lojo waju e ri pe te ba ma ri pe nikan ma wa from nowhere to ma de yan la nigeria nsin ori ofi olorun ni ori ofi olorun ni dreams te wo gba de ah e ma so be e ma so pe kini yoruba pe wu yoruba e because we can't forget our root yoruba e po yoruba e po i will tell you a story and because our story come from me so pe awon family yen em won ni omo wo pe iyawo ko ni iyawo ni we but oko o ni we Monsoni Yoruba, so that uh, you know, we are only we, but Subako so only we. One of the few Yoruba who have come among, but one saw you, but some among you only, among you only, but that that. Oh, I don't joke on. Oko ya wagbe, oko ayoke le rejade, ogbi omose yin. One one jade lo. But ton jade o mu iwe wa ko ore re tori igba miran o ma nira fun awon alawo funfun lati se iya soto oju awa ta ba je alawo dudu so o mu iwe wa ko ore re o fi o fi nwa ko awon lopo ba da won duro gba ton da won duro meji ni won ikan lo ba eni ton wa ko ni waju ikeji lo ba omo to wa leyin to wa leyin oko pe o ba bere si ma ba soro hello how are you what's your name and stuff like that so one dem bi baba ni waju won ni ko mu iwe wa ko re wa o fun won ni iwe wa ko won wo won ti woju to wa nbe won ti woju yen won le won le ya oju yen soto so no one so pe e to wa leyin wa nbi omo ni ede gesi wa nbi omo yen pe how are you? And what is your name? Omo so oruko e, Olorun wa dada. Baba nla ti ma so fun omo. He won so pe is this man your dad? Omo ni be ni le de gesi. Baba ti ri pe akara ti fe tu se po. Wala bo. Lo wa nfi ide Yoruba. O wa fi so fun omo re. Wi pe Ma so nko kan mo leyin ile ton ti bi eyan ogudo da olohun bere kan kan mo ogudo so nko kan o omo o gbo ba to mo o gbo nko ton so ni e ba bi pe ki lo ruko baba re to joko waju baba ba pa ni wo ogudo so fun o ogudo so ruko mi o ma so fun o bo ngba to mo o gbo nko ti baba re nso bo se da ruko baba re ni yen oruko to wa to wa da o ya ro to ruko to wa lori iwe wa ko wa lati de ti yoruba o ba wulo fun wa nigeria o le wulo fun wa loke okun baba ta nso yi won da para sile o baba wa mi to mu gari re je je ni lori lede nigeria bayi nisin so e ma je ka ma ro pe boya ide wa o ni wulo fun wa o le je pe lana oto ni ide fi ma wulo fun yan o le je pe ilana oto ni ede yen lo fi ma wulo fun yan but ede se pataki ede la fi nko eyan be yan se on lo gbe se aye asa la fi nko yan be yan se ma be yan se ma wa iyi lawojo language is very very important so the fact that pe awon lori wa lopolopo awon ile eko alada ni nsin yi pe won ti yowo ki la nko ede yoruba won ti yo lawo iyan o so pe boya o help wa o ko help wa to la to in fact wa la gidi non da sinu le aye wa olorun ni jari wa la o ni orile de finland mo man soro yi mo di soro popolopo gba mo fe bi wa ma bere bere kan leyin tin ba soro yen ton i just want to get your response pe kini iditi ijoba orile de finland se nse nkan ton se yi 
e ma gbo i live in a very small community here it's called variso that is the name of the community and uh ti abari idile meje ototo o ti yin sin yi ton ni awon mo to nso ede yoruba ijoba orilede finland won se ton lati gba oluko fun won to ma ma ko awon mo yi ni ede abinibi won o why do they invest so much in a foreign language that is my question for for you viewers why do the finnish government invest so much in a foreign language Riyati Mama, thank you for joining. Why do they invest so much in a foreign language? What is going to be the benefit there for them? So, I want to see you, 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 because, when I want to see you, 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 let me put it that way, because that's a fact. Ti yon mwa ba dan ton yon de abini bi. Kousi, bi yon koro re jeni ye koro. And they, they, they want to use these children. They, they, they believe they are part of the, the, the country's future. So they want to take part in their upbringing. They want to take part in their development. But in Nigeria, tik pa tik pa ni, de ba lo si le ekwa la da ni, kousi yon si yon ba nun yon eto ekwa mwa Kusibo, kusauza. Mm -hmm. So the country, the government are not only extorting us financially, they are actually extorting us emotionally and morally. Hmm. Oh, no, wow. So anybody to ban gbe yanju ati lo si Nigeria Olorun a so yin lo a so yin bo but <laughs> that country eh Ijoba nse ti e fun wa be ni mo ti pa si Finland la no Ijoba nse ti e fun wa awon ti won tun fi se eto alabo fun wa ni ilu awon na tun se ti won fun wa Bubba, I want to hear you say, "Ojo, Allah, Nigeria, I want to pardon." Yeah, I'm sorry, Yoruba, King's Queen. Yes, of course, I'm sorry, Yoruba. Yoruba, no, I'm sorry. Yoruba, yeah. Ma, so don't come for me, see. Come here, talk. We're going to share this video. We are mutually sorry. We are mutually sorry. But ma, sorry, Yoruba. I lost it the other day. No welcome. It make me look Yakub. So, it better be better. Oh, we can't even. Oh, Jay, allow us to. But we, we allow us to call a mark boy. Because he bill it like mommy. So, yeah, we can't boy. Oh, we can't lose our Jay. Oh, Jay, allow us to do. Come move action. Oh, Jay, allow us to do one bet. So, it means we can't move to Jay to do. We go on Yakub. Fun fun the one. Oh, my beauty, that bad damn boy! Oh, he care. We are, we are, boy, we boy, check. We be on my domain, and Nick buy any. So, on a John Shere, we are on money, bro. On a John Shere, he come on Benin, we are on money, boy. He poki, lo money. He on go to your bank, we di poki. So, lo ba ba, zima din du du ya fun on money. Oh, my bank, on Shere, do fin Shere lo worry. Atun no, atun ba, atun no. Il y a un papa qui a dit, ah, eh, ouah, moi, il y a un Mani, kofi, kofi, le che, fi souru che. Moi, il y a un papa, moi, il y a un papa. Papa, moi, il y a un papa, ou son gokan ou. A yon ou la wa l'oju. Il bato ya, ou tout chef, moi, il y a tout fait yon soumi, because, il y a un papa, 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 but at the same time, you have to always teach your children to be able to stand up for themselves. Teach them to be independent. So, Elei, Emi, O, Koje Kubea Mofin, advise you, Akwe Kubea, Kama Kama, Mwa Bonche Mwa Valento. But at the same time, Olo Maja Abimwa Dindirinyo, Toma Nanda, Toma Wa Sukunwale. 
So, come on, ever to know that, can see. If you not change your phone, more rough you will buy so. Can you meet boy you buy me? Lord join ye. I be calling mommy you boy you buy. Oh man, no man, me be me you don't need to be jarring me. Me you need to soften me, go be jarring. Even can you? Ah, that's it. Ah, I'm of you know. Thank you. Timba saw a day Finland this year. Oh man, born for Timon saw. Timba saw you bo. Wagbo, ba wo ni mo se wa fe fi eno so fun omo mi to fi ma gbo pe eto oni lati gbijara re o ba te mi no diri be mo kan change e fun ni mo wa nre rin e ma oju mi o yakub yakub ah eku je eku ere o hmm wo hmm sorry bo se nu eyen to ba le na ti e pada la le hmm to si ka to hmm ko si ka to Ibadi mo so yen fun ton bayi. Ah. Ohun na kan, bo se o ba mo yen tun wa bayi, mo de mo pe agbara e o le ka omo mi. Bo se wa bayi, to tun se nkan to se bayi, yen kan ko gbaju fun ni gbo, owo mo dudu, o ma yi leti. Bo se bere si ma sun kun ni, e o kan sa kuro nbe yen ni. Ah! Igba ba ba le se wa mo pe nkan sele. O wa lo fa omo e kuro nbe. Emi le re ni. Abi, ko se nto mo pe mi mo so fun pe ko na. Ara wa nfa ni ede ni e o. Ali vi kwa on mwa wa, bon shi le ji jak bara foun la on, ton on finire on jenta. Kalo mwa mi ou bo yu, wame, wane nan ou be yu. Ama wa dele, wame wa ou be ya, in kon shi mi ou. E de wada. If you don't ever want your children to lose their root, to actually have problem connecting to their root, you need to make sure that you buy them with the culture, Tradition and the language. It's very, very important. It, it doesn't have anything to do with the state of the country. Forget about it. Language is on its own. Really, <laughs> Mama, thank you, Muslim Aisha. Abio, ah, Obuyi, Pupo, thank you very much. King's Queen Surprise, thank you very much, UK. DJ Dali, thank you. Ah, uh, Yakub, what the lost here? Yakub is not at home. They went to school already. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you. And you know the funniest part? Children are very, very good when it comes to language learning. Last time, mom be your mom make me in a restaurant ni Yoruba. Because when they speak English, they have to translate. So he made a mistake and he said, Daddy. Afe egbe wa lo si restaurant a ogben kini restaurant ni Yoruba because if you speak if you mix a little bit of English word to your Yoruba you have to translate it e yan to ba di so yin bo nle ana o ma tu o so then you have to translate so i ask him what is restaurant in Yoruba and that day i got to know that i've been saying it wrong e mi ti mo je baba gan ti mo so Yoruba mo wo pe ah o da ben pe mi o so dada O so pe ngba ti mo bere pe o da mi kamel ni lojo yen mo so pe kini restaurant ni Yoruba o so pe ile ijeun to ma be bi wa ifun awa agbalagba gan how do we call a restaurant we will say ile onje abi mo paro ni ile onje to ma bi agbalagba nsin pe even if you go ah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I just got lost in the Meanwhile, you got to be be in a restaurant in Yoruba. Oso be ile jeun, okay? Ile jeun, and I think that is the right word. Ile jeun, not ile unje. Ile unje can be a place where you store your food. It can be a storage room for food item. And when I asked my friend's daughter in Nigeria, when I asked her, what is a restaurant in Yoruba? She said, Ile Ijeon. That tells you how pure children's brain is. Ile Ijeon. Ile Ijeon. So, Ile Ijeon. So, Lati Bere. Okolo Aonmode. Oda Samu Samu. Tabale Fikomo. So, 
Am I supposed to Yoruba help you? Yoruba, it has been helping me. It has really, really been helping me. And I believe if we can all do the same thing, it will go a long way to help us and to help our children. In your Yoruba boy, they have been a bit dada. Egg bag do you go? Oh, you bow my soul, my Oma verse is open. Oma verse is so in your lacquer. Thank you. Ah, from Poland. Wow, that's good. So, Okolo I want more Jaffa Fa. Thank you. Best way kitchen. Exactly. Okolo I want Jaffa Fa. So, Emma Jeka deny one new opportunity ye. E Jeka fi dia bini biwa kavi kongo. E niti oba boy di ida ada. To ba mo kwe mama aso a mulu mola ide. Fon a omore. E gba u lu kofu wako ma kongo. E rida ju kwe de te ba maso sa omoni nou le. Ko un she de ti oma. To ma, to ma. Ba o ni kinje se o. To ma da. Ru mongo lo ju. To ma da. Kon ru mongo lo ju. If you want to speak Yoruba, speak Yoruba. If you want to speak English, speak English. If you want to speak Awuza, speak Awuza. Don't say, oh yeah, Loba Mikbe Onjewalori Dani Tebu yen. We have a Yoruba name for Dani Tebu. So, of course, there are some exceptions. If you don't know the right word to use, for example, uh, a television. Yoruba people have constructed a word for it. So don't tell your child, ah, oh yeah, a joke where you television. Tabi, oh yeah, eh, loba mimu, eh, batamiwani, eh, corridor. These words, we have Yoruba for them. Corridor is, um, or dead day. Right? Or dead day. Loba mimu, kawani, backyard. In your dato, loba mi mungu wani agbala. You understand? So, tabam so you basi won kamari that you pay you bato ye koro un lan so si won. Because oro on phone mode, ken yon ken yon allah ma do kolo waru, but you bati mo le lono ni ken yon dan koro mo oloju. So to bati nda mo oloju won ni le get it right. Ti yo in Nigeria banfi a jewa, ema ya kawa na otuma fi a jera wa o. I kon la soka le yi yin sin yi. Ri yo ti mama, thank you. I kon la soka le yi yin sin yi. So, mba ti government wa ban deny wa, ni nko to je e to ti wa. Ta wa na otu wan deny ala wa, ni nko to je e to wa, ta tu deny omo wa. Kobu yi kun wato. You know, if we have to, Think about it. Let's leave religion out of this. Okay? I'm not an advocate of any religion. Let's leave religion out of this. Tobani, no, I want to I want to go. 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 I Tama madara wala mu. Abi, she mo paro. For example, nzi, ijoba wani ka se testi, mbi kato kuro mbi. E se testi, mbi na Nigeria. E tu se testi, batu pala zibi. Mi wwa ita wun yibon se fun yin wo, bolo wo yin yo. Mwa wopwe e to yin yo. Su kwa joba titi wa. Bwe lu yadon jewa yin, wwa tu bolo wa, katu wwa se testi. Ten million naira per flight. Ten flight, hundred million naira. Lojo jumo, awan fi inera, afi yorawa, awan fi inera, afi 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 nya awan mo a a a budget. Oku di ekato. I just feel like I should do this this morning. Because it was really, really embarrassing. Uh, when you are leaving Europe, sometimes you are being profiled. Okay? You get to Nigeria, they will still profile you. I remember before I became a Finnish citizen. Anytime I'm traveling to Nigeria with my wife, is always a problem. Why? 
at the Helsinki airport, they will collect that my green passport, they will look at it again and again and again and again. Before you know it, my wife is already at the back of the security area. Me, I'm still standing there. Okay, let's say, well, this is Europe. This is our continent. It's okay. She deserves all the nice treatment. And because I am a B word, don't let me say it in full. So maybe I deserve the kind of treatment they are giving me also. Fine, no problem. Getting to Nigeria. Ah, Yibo, 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 Yibo. Bonjour, Bagbeu, non, Bagbeu, Bwe. Et Miti, Mosawo, Tiketi. O Yibo. Ti Moshe, Bwe. Oh, on irrite, Miro. In fact, Moshe, ma triste, Migo. Ala, te Migo, ma akko. So, ya ou mi mag badou ni lo yibo, mi biko to kuro, atun badou to badou de Nigeria. What? Kerosene for coronavirus test in some secondary school in Nigeria. That's absurd. What? Natalia, eh, oh, mind it. No problem. Of course you won't mind now. Why would you mind? Like, seriously, there, there, there was a time we went to Nigeria together. I received this ugly treatment here in Europe. And when we got to Nigeria, they, 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 they did the same thing to me. And my wife was pampered. She was being pampered here in Europe. She was pampered in Nigeria. In my own country. And the funniest part of it was that there was a day we were coming back to Finland. And at the entrance of the airport, um, you know, they don't normally allow your family member to come with you. First, they thought I was a family member. Maybe, but yeah. So, but anyway, in the end, they realized that we were traveling together. They were like, okay. And then I had, I think I had my brother and my dad of blessed memory with, with us that day. And they told us they would only allow my dad to come in with us. You know what? My wife just said, ah, Oga. This one is my, my, my husband brother now. I beg, make, a, make, it, make it come in now. Ah, okay, 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 then he can come in. Just see, in my own country, all right, they will talk. Those got the most of the talk, 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 the Et ma sœur me dit qu'il faut au gars qui l'aime beaucoup pour moi là. On boit des diens hier. Au gars, what do you bring for us now? Ari, y a des mamas. I don't go live amo. Seriously, on a pas passeport. Il me voit hier, 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 hier. Something happened to me when I went to Australia. I think it was last year or a year before. As a Finnish citizen. When you, you you don't need a visa, but you apply for e visa, something like that. So when I got there, I was going through the uh, security post. They collected my Finnish passport. The guy checked it, and then they said I should move aside. They were not supposed to do that. You know why they did that? Because place of birth on my Finnish passport. Is Nigeria, Shaki, Nigeria. And that was the reason why they said I should move aside. So think, even if you become an American citizen, there's still going to be this iota of treatment, bad treatment, wherever you go. That, that, that country, I'm sorry to say this, I think our country is caused. So if you have family member going to Nigeria, if it is possible for you to postpone your your travel, just do it all. Because 
you are going to have three tests. If you are from 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 Europe, for example, the guarantee when you are going out, they won't they won't they won't ask you to do any test. But it's required in Nigeria that you do a test and you come with that test result. And when you get to Nigeria, you will do another test. And coming back, you do another test. If you travel through Kutonu, you don't they, they don't treat you like that. Even though they have their own bad ways of doing things, but when it comes to this COVID-19, I think they got it right. You pay you pay once and you, you do two tests. One when you reach there and one when you are leaving. And think about my dear country in Nigeria. Ah, no. Igbati project coordinator of Mr. Mikwe, wow, this is properly done. Wait, ah, wait, you want a website, CBT, you know, to my register for test in Nigeria, you want to bunch of shit to that. Wait, she loved the procedure. Ah, one work, wait, ah, Ki Nigeria, Ki Joba Nigeria, don't leave shame, but to my own, I want to run. I just wait, I put you on the coon here. In the end, oh, do do do, I put on the coon. Well, Fig ten, please. Are they collecting dollars on Naira? Well, uh, it depends on where you are living. If you are living in Europe or if you are living in America, for example, uh, you will be directed to a page where you are going to pay, and then you can choose the currency, whether Naira or dollar or euro. Then you can actually choose the currency. But you have to do that test, though. I mean, you have to pay for the test, though, because if you don't pay for it, well, someone told me that uh, there's also possibility. That you can pay when you get to Nigeria, but I don't know how how true that is, because the, we flew to Nigeria with Turkish Airlines, and on getting to Helsinki, they asked us two things: one, our test result from Finland, and the second thing was our proof of payment that we have paid for the test that we are going to do in Nigeria. So a brother told me this morning that uh, Qatar Airlines is not mandating people to do uh, to to register for the uh, Nigerian test beforehand. But then you have to do tests before you leave. That's, that's what they're asking for. So I think it also depends on the airline and the kind of uh, agreement that the country have with them. Bad leadership. Thank you very much. Bisola Yanki. Exactly. Bad leadership. Larry Gold. Thank you. Assist Liat. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, Lake of King Kong. Thank you, the real Agbanaki Republic, and thanks for joining. I really love you guys. I appreciate you. Uh and Nigeria and say go to Rodadao. Is there any question you want to ask me? You are free to ask now before I go. Bemaj, thank you very much. Well, you I think it's your line thing. I don't really think so. I don't think so because that day. They actually, when they asked me for the proof of payment, and I, I told them that uh, I've paid, but I didn't get that QR code or whatever they call it. They were making some call, they were checking their system, so, and it was Turkish Airline. So I believe perhaps maybe they have some kind of agreement with, uh, with the Nigerian government, I'm not sure. You want to go to Nigeria, uh, Pius Papi, you want to go to Nigeria by December. So, okay, me, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Bolanley of Lagos. It's well. Yes, it's well. Thank you. Uh, King's Queen Surprise UK. You didn't reply. What did you ask me? Sorry, I didn't catch it. What did you ask? They are just about the money. The boy eyes. Exactly. They are about the money. It's all Ah, Mokon Wood. The Jira got me. Mama Shin. Konda Dara Yi. Ah. In Komi Wame. Don't make bow. I see Sulia. What about my baby? They went to school. They went to school. When am I uploading the next video? Sorry, I've been away for, for like three weeks, but um, now that I'm back, we'll start recording videos. Uh, one thing I want you to know is that um, apart from uh, the video from uh, Lake and King Kong Oluko and the, the cartoons, the Yoruba series that we are doing with uh, uh, Oluko, Lake and King Kong, uh, most of their videos, they are not, we don't normally plan for them. So, and no, they are nothing. I just, when I see them doing something interesting, I just record them. So most of the video is not something we plan for. So, well, if, if they are not in a, in a good mood, I can't record their video. But let's see, let's see. Now that I'm back, they are very happy that I'm back. So, you know, even my, my wife told me that they asked her in their school this morning that, ah, 
why are they so excited this morning? And she said, their dad is back. So, and uh, they asked them, what did your dad bring? What did your dad bring for you? And they said, a ja. You know, because I told them yesterday, Larry Gold, they collect money and you are not called for the test so bad. Well, no, they collect money and then they will give you an appointment for the test. So you will go and do the test. It's not like they are collecting money and they are not doing tests for you. You will do the test. But the, the, the main thing is that you don't need that test result in the end. Because when you reach Europe, you still have to do another test. Even before you set foot on their, on their, on their country, you will do another test. So why do you test in Nigeria when you still need tests here? Bemash, that's how the yellow FIFA thing started though. Nigeria shall now they just collect money and give you results. Exactly. In fact, one other thing, one other thing. One very big intro. I don't know how true is this though, but someone told me that actually they even kind of like you know fabricate the test result. Just to collect more money, the lab can tell you that you are you are positive when you are not. So you have to be very, very careful. So if, if you can avoid going to Nigeria now, just Stay put wherever you are. Mm. Ah, nearly well out. I'm sorry about your dad. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, I call you a lot on Tigbe, but you know what? Mm. I have for show. Oh, uh, Sunny4867. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do I need to do tests if I'm going to Europe? Powers Papi. If you are going to Europe, and if you are leaving Nigeria for the first time, uh, what I'm trying to say now is that you are not actually required to do the test in Nigeria. When you get to Europe, if the country wants you to do the test, they will do the test for you. Actually, the test result that I brought from Nigeria, it was useless at the Helsinki airport, though, because they don't need it. It was useless. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Nigeria asks you to do a test before you leave Europe. And you do the test two to three days before you, you embark on your, on your trip. And what happened during the transit? What if you catch the virus during your transit? What happened? And then now they tell you where, before you leave Nigeria, you have to do the test four days before you leave Nigeria or seven days when, when you get to Nigeria. So what happened when after you have conducted, you have done the test and you got infected? So, and you come here with the test result. Is it relevant anymore? No, of course it's not relevant anymore. That's why I'm saying that this test of a thing is a scam. They are not trying to protect us. They are just trying to extort us. When they came up with this uh, issue of uh, there are some certain airlines that are allowed to fly to Nigeria. And they were trying to flex muscle like as if Europe banned a uh, flight from Nigeria because Europe was trying to prove superiority. Meanwhile, they were not trying to prove superiority. They were just trying to pro uh, protect their own people and protect Nigerians also. Because if you don't come, you don't bring any disease here. And if their people don't go to Nigeria, they don't take disease to Nigeria. But in the end, they were saying it was uh, some kind of reciprocal thing that uh, they, they were treating them the way they treated them. Europe was not trying to flex muscle. They were not trying to prove superiority. They were only trying to protect their own people. Think about it. Finland banned every incoming ship and aircraft coming from Sweden because they believe Sweden didn't actually meet up with the regulation when it has to do with COVID-19 or they didn't actually uh, plan it well. And they banned them. Does it mean that Finland is trying to show superiority to Sweden? Of course they are not. Misplaced priority. Nigeria. Oh, my God. Bless you. Problem is about prayer sometimes. The test should be on arrival. Exactly. Kilo 0364. Thank you very much. The test should be on arrival. So why, why do you ask people to do tests here? Larry Gold. Uh, that's double test. Um, to pay 100 euro for the test. That is not necessary. Yeah, exactly. And let me tell you one, one other thing. If you are not careful, that particular test. I don't know if there's any a bug on their website. I'm not quite sure. But I nearly paid two times. And I met some people in Nigeria who told me that they actually paid two times because when you pay the first time, the system will redirect you again and then they will ask you to, that you have to make payment. So, tell you about Soji Arena, you will pay two times. 
when when it showed up that I have to pay another time, uh, uh, the second payment, I was just like, no, I'm not going to do this. I just closed the website because I've already been debited. So I just print out the, 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 the receipt. And that was my proof of payment. I wasn't going to pay for, 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 for any other test again. So if you are not careful, you will pay two times. So. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Bemaj. The virus won't manifest in two to three days. I think so. If you truly do the test four days before you fly, it's still good. But how truthful is our government? They are not. They are not. So if they are now asking us to take a test four days before our trip, what happened when you, when you contact the test after your trip? What happened? So I think exactly what the Republic is doing is what we are supposed to be doing in Nigeria. And that is what most of all these European countries are doing. Before you set foot on their country, you will do the test at the airport. Or you quarantine yourself for 14 days. Adelike Taufik. I get the first Nigeria has to confirm if one is positive or not, that the person will not infect other passengers. It might not be applicable to people with negative results. Well, it, 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 yeah, that's, that's okay. But the problem here is that how much are they charging us for the test? Also, how much are they charging us for the test? And for example, if you if you if you if you are positive, so what what, what next? If the test confirmed that you are positive, what next? When you don't even ask people when they are going out of the country about the test result that they take in Nigeria. Nigeria. The test may not be on arrival as the result doesn't come out on time. Someone said he paid three times. Thank you. Oluwabu Mifa Johnny. Exactly what I, what I was talking about. Oh. If you are not careful, you will pay more than two times. Oh. So you have to be very, very careful. When you pay first time and the system is asking you to pay again, don't pay. Oh. Make sure you print your payment receipt. And that will do. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for joining and uh Omar Vaisila, thank you very much for joining okay let me just say hi to everyone that joined so if you uh titi la your nimota thank you very much quintemi thank you so much be much thank you solomon mamadou thank you Asis suliyat thank you uh larry gold thank you very much kilo 364 thank you dami Dami Laoye, thank you so much. Finito Brezi, thank you. Omolumi, thank you very much. The match, thanks for joining. Adelike Taufik, thank you so much. Um, um, Paus Papi, thank you. Oluwabu Mifa Johnny, thank you. Assis Suliat, 758, thank you very much. Uh, King's Queen Surprise, thank you. LD Bok, thank you. Muslima Aisa, thank you very much. Vigo Queen, thank you. Tosin, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining and um, catch you some other time. So, next time when you see me, Emma, Emma Shadura, I carry a code for me. Well, Ellie Shadura, I carry a code for me, but. In context, Emma of me people ya iri ti move kola ti bi Emma ko asin Nigeria ni ko jo ko jo iri wola ko wale ileta ababa ako ni bata wa kere to da bi mansion to da bi gold lo juwa ta ababa delensi yi ati desi begon wa alani so bobo ngote ya bale ya shensi yi to ba lo she berekete to she to she to she to she bangba we ata amu bata ba gano le zokbe ili adieli yoko so aboro la so from aluabi to ba denu. Ado the deal. And once again, if you have if you are financially buoyant enough to 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 have a second uh, citizenship for you and your children, please do it all. Oluwabu mi fa jori ani gbesajo ami ani gbesajo ami o but 
This is your thing. Come on, Shannon, one year. Ibola Dubai, you. Ibola Dubai. Exactly, Obama. Thank you very much. That it's it's my biggest advice for today's uh, live show. If you are financially buoyant enough, invest on a second citizenship for yourself and your family. Because hmm, any place with peace of mind is called home. Exactly. So why do we say sweet home? Oh, sweet home. Uh, sweet home. If you're talking about the Baleni, okay, if you go Queensland, speak English. Oh, sorry. You don't speak Yorubani. Gilo de. Ambusayo, thank you very much. It's well, oh. Mm. Outside Nigeria is Ajo. Hmm. Ah, Nikbe Sajo. And me? Ah, Nikbe Sajo. Ah, to Nikbe Sile. I do a minute, you can't get a match from now. Ah, Nikbe Sajo. Ah, to Nikbe Sile. Because. The way the whole country situation is going, and when you're, hello me, one year I can barely any car phone ro, oh wait back on you, in the Latin phone ro, ni si, ah phone ro ni tamo. LD book exactly. You still discuss about this relationship with your hobby this morning. It's a very good thing to do. It's a very good thing. If you if you have the money, it's it's the best legacy you can give to your family, your children. Oh. Emi Baba, you have a valid point in respect of investing in Nigeria. Regards from Helsinki. Thank you. I want to add one in Finland. I don't, I'm still learning. Oh, you are still learning Yoruba. Oh, sorry about that, Vigo Queen. I didn't know. I didn't know. Sorry about that. Um, amen, amen, amen. Should we just make it one hour? Because I don't know when, when the live show will end, but we could just make it one hour and then we'll end the show. So, uh, Bambi Sugar, we want more of this lesson, please. Okay, thank you very much. Maybe we'll do this once in a week. Uh, if you try to teach my children, Oka. Ah, hmm. Ebony Nubia Lossary. Yes, so, uh, our boys, yeah, these boys, my boys will eat anything. I bought a Kilishi for them when I was coming from Nigeria. I bought four packs, okay, four packs. You know how, how hot is immediately they finished two pack there yesterday so i had to collect the remaining part from them because their mom will want to eat also so they and they will finish everything and then i gave them robo oh my god do you know robo for for people that don't speak english robo is like um we can call it granite cake something like that it's made from granite they will blend it extract the oil and fry it that is robo so and they love they love the robo so much. So you see, uh, I had to put it I had to put it on top of the kitchen uh, cabinet because they were going to finish it yesterday. So they love everything Nigerian, everything Polish, everything international. They love it. They fit into every situation where you put them. Bring amala, bring it on. They will eat it. Eba, forget. Is they are playing so? Dollar rice ah oluwau. And I bought them a new type of indomie that was introduced to the market in Nigeria recently, it's like jollof rice and they are very very excited, so when I pick them up from school this is what we are going to cook, we sometimes when we want to cook, we cook together mm. yeah, what qualifies Nigeria as Ile, I don't know, the Nigeria has lost all the characteristic of what we can use to call them Ile, to call Nigeria Ile we don't have it, Nigeria doesn't have it Hmm, Ada Black, the best thing my white husband did before he passed away was taking me out of Nigeria. Exactly. Uh, he, he, I, I believe he, he was your guardian angel. Seriously. Titi Lion, Nimota, I just got my Italian students last December. Hooray! That's very nice. Congratulations. Yeah, Bamidele will buy that. For me, Ajo is better than Ile. For most of us in Nigeria, believe me. Even for our government, Ajo is better than Ile for them. They will carry all our money and invest it in another country. God bless America. 
God repair my country Nigeria. Amen. Uluwa bun mi fa join. Amen. Ah, Kilishi, El the box said Kilishi, won't it be too hard for them? Ah, these boys, they told me daddy, Efun allow me. They were watching cartoon and then they were eating Kilishi and they were telling me daddy Efun allow me. They were eating it and they were drinking water. <laughs> There was there was one video I recorded like a few months ago when I was cooking and Yakub didn't want their mom to eat from it. You know what he told me? He said, "Had more chili." He said, "Had more chili." I was like, "Why would you say that?" He said, ah, "Because I don't want yawa in Yoruba." He said, "Me feki yawa jembe." Then I asked him, "Why would you use yawa instead of mommy?" He said, "Because I didn't want her to know that we're talking about her." See, children, eh? Yes, be much exactly. Anywhere that give you peace of mind is home. I miss Robo Shaki. But me daily buy that Robo. See, I packed it when I was coming. Oh, I packed a lot of it, and they. If I count it, I think they they had more than 40, 40 of those those Robo yesterday. More than forty. Exactly, Shaki. Shakina HB and my kids can eat swallow all your own. And we have mommy. We want the way to exactly Ibile. Nigeria is no longer Ileo. Don't do yourself. Tony imports hub. Exactly. It's no longer Ileo. Please save this live on your story so others can view. Yeah, I will do that. Thank you. How do we get them to speak back in Yoruba? Okay, Aisha GK. This is a very, very good question. How do you get your kids to speak back to you in Yoruba? Do you know that if you, if you speak Yoruba to your kid and they respond in English, you are the one that caused that? Because children have a very pure heart and if they are ever convinced at any point, we parents are the one convincing them. So if your, your kids will, if they have the impression that uh, you can speak English, when you speak Yoruba to them and they respond in English and you feel you, you responded back in English or you just they could see it in you that it's okay for you. Then they anytime you speak Yoruba to them, they will always speak English back at you. But when you speak Yoruba to them and they speak English and you act as if you don't understand what they are saying, and you'll be like, I didn't get that. Then they will feel like probably be when they speak English to you, you wouldn't understand. Because it's, it's, it's a way of brainwashing them somehow, but it's in a good way. Because up till this point, uh, my kids, until I, we started speaking English, anytime we are, we are eating uh, breakfast, for example, uh, we, our table language is English. Until then, they didn't believe that when they speak English to me, I will understand. So, you know, So don't, when your kids speak English back at you, try to pretend as if you don't understand. Don't ever give them the impression that it's okay for them to speak back in English. I'm in Nigeria, but I've not gotten to Ileo. I'm still going to Ileo. <laughs> Tony, pause for Babio. The moment I enter UK, Ada Black, I weep for my family back home. Nigeria is not home again. It's home in hell. Hmm. A very big, a very powerful word there. Lord, that's smart of him. Exactly. Ah, I will tell them what they do sometimes. I'm coming. Oh Lord, you people should teach our Nigeria so you won't be doing I will see again. Ah, now because they know my wife can speak uh little Yoruba. She's not friend, but she can speak Yoruba. So and boys know. So anytime they want to speak, whenever she's there, they try to they won't even mention mommy at all at all. So that she doesn't really know that they are talking about about her. Everyone, please, what type of investment can you like us invest while we are outside the country? <laughs> investment. Well, I would say if you have any investment, you can, if, if, if the, the, the country, wherever you are living right now, if it's, um, if it's good for investment, invest there. Buy house. When you live in US or Europe, try to invest in real estate. You can, you can buy as many apartments as possible and rent them out. 
because the value won't depreciate here. But buy anything in Nigeria in the next five years before you know it is valueless. And if, for example, in the end, you like to move to Nigeria, or if in the future we get the country of our dream, then you can just sell whatever you have here and take it with you. Hmm, Omotola said, we, we thank God for life in Dubai. Life is not easy, but it's still better of than in Nigeria, I would say. Exactly. Wow, Aisha GK. The, the kids, okay, they spoke fluent Yoruba before school. We live in England. On the entire education where Allah started. Hmm, Abio. Wow. I like that strategy. If you set the bar really high, even if the kids miss it, they will still be very good speaker. Exactly, Jimmy Lazio. That is exactly what I always tell people. You need to set the bar. You need to set the bar. You can't give them the impression that you can speak English. If you really want them to learn your language, Joe. Because English is like a virus, it's like a cancer. If you are not careful, it destroys everything that you have built. And whether you like it or not, these kids will speak English anyway. When my kids are in the midst of people that speak English, if you see them speaking English, you'll be, you'll be wild. And then when they speak Finnish, it's perfect. Yoruba, fine. Polish is okay. So if they can get everything, why, why, why do you deprive them of, 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 of that good thing? Yeah, it's that be much. Anytime my mom is around, she will tell them, I don't understand English. Is that, that's it. Okay, send me robo. <laughs> Property is the best investment, exactly. Oluwabum if I journey. That's it. Hello, King's Queen. Exactly. At the being pay 40. We in Arab countries are even afraid to go home. Abi, Opsin. Uh Egbon, buying land ain't useless in Nigeria. Well, yeah, that's a very good one also. But if you are not if you don't if you don't have problem with Omonile. I've had a few friends that bought land in, in Nigeria and then before they know it, they snatch the land away from them. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest in Nigeria, but I'm just talking about the, the, the security of your property, of your investment. That's the biggest problem that I have. How do I teach my five years old Yoruba? Well, start, do you speak Titi Laiyo, Nimota? Do you speak French Yoruba? If you, if you speak French Yoruba, then you should just start. And if you can, you can also register them for, for Yoruba class and make sure that you stick to Yoruba at home. Make Yoruba language your home language. In, in our family, we have two home languages. We have Polish and we have Yoruba. And they know they can't speak English to me. There was a video that I spoke English to Yakub. He responded in Yoruba. So you need to put up a lot of work, but it's, in the end, you, you, you enjoy it. So... Yoruba is our mother tongue. Hi, Natalia. Uh, it's, uh, Natalia is not here. I believe she was here before, but then she left. Probably maybe she had a meeting. So... Hmm. Wow. King's Queen Surprise UK will send you DM. No problem. No problem. No problem. Ewa I do know. She got it to one hour that in she live in. You got the you got the end now, Abi. Nina, Nigeria is too bad that my husband coming to Nigeria said, "How do you people live here?" And told me, "Promise not to leave there, please." I said, "Never." Ada Black, exactly. Hmm. Nigeria for sure. We are not trying to rubbish Nigerian image here. Everything we are saying here. Is reality is exactly what we are going through as Nigerian uh, citizen. The Spanish people in America don't play this nonsense with Nigeria. Do that those people teach their language to their children and don't speak anything else? It's, uh, exactly. Is that that's what I do tell people? You, you never, uh, you never see an European coming to Nigeria speaking Yoruba, Usa, or Igbo to their children. No? They will speak their own language. They will always speak their own language. They promote their culture, heritage, and everything, and here we are. Okay. But anyway, I think I have to end this uh, live show. Uh, I will be picking up boys earlier today because um, 
Yakub have um, a football training today, so I have to take them. I don't want this video to end. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Thank you, Tosin. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll have more of this. We'll have more of this. So, um, so maybe we should end the live video now. I don't know because there is this one hour time limit. When did we start? Is it been one hour yet? I'm not quite sure. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Uh, same here. The way is. Thank you. Okay. If uh, Instagram is not going to end the live video, I think we should end it now so that I can get myself ready to pick up boys. I have to pack um, Yakub's uh, football kit and uh, pack some some food for them. Maybe I will take more of this Robo and Kilichi, but uh, Kilichi will not be good though because it's too hot and he's going to play football. So maybe we don't do this Kilichi thing now. Uh, maybe bread and egg, for example. Egg fried in Nigerian way, of course. They love it. Be much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can they speak Yoruba to who? Bolanle one six one six one six. Can who speak Yoruba? Are you talking about uh, my family? Are you talking about my boys? If you're talking about my boys, that means you haven't been watching their video. Halaja <laughs> DBC. Thank you very much, my Shaki brother. Exactly. A lot this Nigeria that I went to, a lot of people were asking were asking about them. A lot of people. Even at the airport, some people saw me with my face mask and they were still able to recognize me. They were like, someone said, I know you. Is this not Nigerian picking? I said I'm not Nigerian picking though. <laughs> Drastic one with Yoruba men. Uh where is Yahoo Yoruba picking? Uh, she went for a meeting in the match. Thank you. God bless you so much. Thank you very much. God bless you too. Thank you. So, do you guys have any question? For example, when it comes to language, Yoruba, do you have any question? Can I ask me? Let's do that. Let's make this period a question period. Uh, are you new to their page? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Probably maybe she's new to our page. But you are welcome. Welcome to the family. Well done, sir. Quite impressive. Abia de Toro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, we is going. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, a celebrity. Those boys speak better, you better than I do. Drastic. Wow. Okay. Thank you. We enjoy your life. Thank you. Thank you, Adlak. Muromokia. Can your wife speak Yoruba? She does. Not fluent, but she does speak Yoruba. And uh, she understands to, to a, a good extent. Compared to the way I speak Polish. I don't even speak Polish. I, I'm not good at it at all at all. So, but my wife is really, really trying. She's, I'm pidgin. She speaks good pidgin English. I wish I could do this with my son. You can do it. It's never too late. I'll be at the You can do it. How many kids do you have? Yeah, me see. Yeah, to my children, I speak Yoruba to them. We don't speak any other language at home. Apart from, well, of course, we have English language, table language when we have breakfast. But apart from that, we only speak Yoruba to each other. Some people were surprised. They thought that we only speak Yoruba when we make video. No. Those videos that you see is when they do something exciting, I just video them. We don't do Riaza. We don't practice anything. It's just, they are raw videos. Raw videos. What are your thoughts about the new wave of YouTube kids video that teaches the language? Will you consider going into the market? Well... Ipsta, thank you very much. It's, it's a very good area. It's a very good area. The only problem I have is that, you know, shooting those videos takes a lot of time. And I'm an entrepreneur. I have a company that I run. And uh, I still have to shoot video. I have to edit some video. Editing, like, by putting the subtitle. So it, it's, a, it, it's a job on its own. Do I want to go to that area? I don't know yet. Oh, okay, but Mark said that he, she thought I was there. No, I'm not ending it now. I just, I want the one hour time to lapse and then we'll end it like that. So, I, I will still, I, 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 I'm, I'm still here. Do you encourage them to speak Polish? Of course. I actually encourage them to speak Polish. Because, it, I, to be honest with you, they don't need any encouragement from me. They don't need any encouragement right now to speak Yoruba or to speak Polish. They only need encouragement to speak Finnish and English. You know? And uh, we don't have to do that because when they are in a situation whereby they need Finnish language, they will speak it. When they need English, they will speak. So we don't actually encourage them to speak the language. They, it's, it's inborn somehow. It's very natural for them 
uh, whenever they see me. And now when they see any black person, they speak Yoruba to them, thinking that they are Yoruba, Yoruba people also. Uh, Bam Suga, my cousin plays over there. I was at my, and our daughter was speaking Yoruba to me jokingly, and the mom took it personal and said, You know, I told you to stop this Yoruba speaking. I was dazed. Yeah! Like, seriously? Can you imagine? So, the funniest part of it is this you see some quack mom that speak half baked English trying to speak English to their children when they can speak better Yoruba. I don't know where, where we are going to go with this. How many languages do they speak? Are Yozobo? Are they, currently, they speak four languages, and probably they would love to add more in the future. Who knows? Because when they get to high school here, they will still have to choose uh, one foreign language. Sometimes Spanish, German, you know, Portuguese. Bamsiga, you can imagine I'm proud of, to be a Yoruba now. I be a, me too. I'm proud to be a Yoruba. Be <laughs> my Ibista, you should do. get a team if possible to help with editing and shooting. Your kids will do so great at it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you know, when we, when we started this video thing, for me, it's just a passion. For me, it's just a way of giving back to Nigerians in Nigeria and in diaspora. Uh, to, to encourage people to, to speak uh, their mother tongue to their children. And uh, to create awareness about the state of our language that it, it's going to go extinct if we are not careful. So that's the reason why I started posting video. Just to, I mean, it was a very big deal for me to start posting video because I was very afraid of the internet thing, showing my kids' face, and my wife also was, was very afraid. But we decided together this is what we want to do. We'd rather help people than to just keep it to ourselves. And that was the reason why we started posting video. Abiyaditoru, uh, you have absolutely done very well, Equisha. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. So if people don't have more questions, should we end the show? Sheka Dajurabai. Someone said I should speak English. That's the reason why I'm speaking English. Sheka Dajurabai. Abika Dajurabai. It's, it's, is it not more than one hour already? Kudos to you. We also stay in Germany and my princess also speaks Yoruba as well. Ola Deren 57. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Send us a DM. Let's get the kids connected. You really done a good job, honestly. Omoreni Kemusa. Thank you so much. You have definitely helped. Thank you so much. That's actually what we wanted to do. We want to advise parents. We want to uh, kind of tell them the importance of mother tongue. We want them to see, uh, to be proud of their root, and we want kids to be proud of their root, also to be proud of their language. Yoruba is very sweet. Oh, thank you very much. So sorry, uh, official. Thank you, class T. Thank you, Equator. Where are you from in Nigeria? I'm from Shaki or your state in Okyogun? No, hello, Emma Dajuro. You, they use extra time. I think I'm using extra time. Oh, I think this thing is it's more than one hour already. I think it's more than one hour. Do they do that? Is there any kind of new new time limit for Instagram? I'm not quite sure. But I think this is more than one hour. Can someone help me to check? Bimaj, you've been here since we started. Is it, is it more than one hour? Okay, the wise also he said it's more than one hour. Oh, okay. Uh, I do care below. Say, ah, me, I just joined. Oh, I must have these loads. Was at work, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. We've had a lovely time here today. Sugar injury, I was supposed to sugar injury time. New, I think it's injury time. I think it's injury time. Wow, Bamidele, they told you that they want to learn your language. That's impressive. You see, I'm going for my dust barrier as well in Nigeria, but hopefully, they stopped collecting 50k. It depends on what time you are going, they are still collecting it, and I believe they will still continue to collect it. It's a lot of money. To, I mean, for them, I'm going to sleep. Good night from Australia. Austin Mota from Australia. Wow, thank you so much. I was in um, in Melbourne last year when I had that experience that I told you about. Wow, which part of uh, Australia are you from? Where, where are you living in Australia? Uh, Official Oyewole said, Because of you, my brother doesn't speak English to my kids. God bless you for it. 
Okay, thank you so much, official. Oh, yeah, well, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's actually our mission. That's the reason why we started posting video. That's the reason why we started posting video. It, for me, it's just fun. Don't really care so much about this Instagram. Voila. It, for me, it's just fun. I just want people to learn from the kids. That if they can do it, your children can do better. Mm. Mm. Hipster, they do that. It's more than one hour. Yeah, exactly. Love from London. Official Classy T. Thank you. Shail Mister from Ibadan. Thank you. Tizil Animal, you are in Sydney. Wow. Don't worry. Maybe next time when we are in Australia, we'll be able to visit you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for your love. Titi Nimota. Love from Canada. Taking ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What advice do you have for parents that don't speak Yoruba to their kids? A lot. Yoruba sokbe en toba solenu oso akbo yako. Language is something we should be proud of. You know, before I used to be ashamed of my dialect, my shaki dialect. Before I left Nigeria, I used to be ashamed of my shaki dialect. And um, this is something that I got from people when people start to call me Araoke, Okolasun, stuff like that. And when I got to Finland, I realized that uh, different areas have their own dialect here also. When you see people from Rovaniemi, the northern part of Finland, when they speak Finnish, uh, you, you can see the dialect. And when you see people from Turku, the western part, they have their own dialect. And these people are never ashamed of their dialect. So, I'm, and I was just like, ah, to hell with Okolazon. I'm sorry to use that language. They have that accent also. They have the Saki accent. And I'm always proud of it. It's something that we should be proud of. So, that's it. Uh, where do you stay? I stay in Turku, Finland. Uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy Laszlo. I just see it as subconsciousness program. I mean, everything is whitewashed and we even shame of our own people who don't speak English. Yeah, exactly. You have done a good job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My hobby love your kids and it cracks up when we watch your video. Official Classy T. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the love. Don't worry. Maybe next time when we are having this live, I will bring them on the show. Right now they are. They went to school. Hmm. My brother is in Germany and the kids don't even know the meaning of a car. You know, language connects you to your route. There's one big problem back home. People don't want you to get married to a foreigner. Because they believe they are, they, they are going to lose their grandchildren, the parents. That is their belief. But when you are able to imbibe your culture, tradition, and language in your kid, you are never going to lose them. The language will be there to do the job for you. I love... Oh, love from New York. Thank you so much. New York. I was in New York last year, November. Yeah, don't worry. Next time when I'm traveling, I think I'm gonna uh, visit a lot of fans. Wow, New York. What is your state of origin or your state? Shaki Okiogun to be precise. Dr. Dayo, I'm Yoruba. I stay in Germany and my three years old daughter speak Yoruba, English and German. Fantastic. We, we need more people like you. Thank you so much. That's very, that's very good. That's very good. You've got yourself a polyglot. Uh, we are from the same state. She, wow, that's good. Official classes T. I love when your wife gets involved too. She inspired a lot. I'm from Obumosho. We are neighbors. Yeah, you are from Obumosho. I studied in Obumosho. I graduated from Lao Tech in 2007. Computer engineering. Obumosho. Illumini, yeah. My second hometown. I'm one of your fans, so don't see me. Thank you. Honestly. I so much love you and your family. More grace, dear brother. May Almighty God bless you and your family. Love. Thank you. Please speak my request. She will miss that. Okay? Do you have something you want to offer us? 
Of course, we will call you. All you in Germany people, where about are you? My sis and her husband moved to Kazakhstan, Abi, wherever. <laughs> Larry Good, I'm from Kwara and I'm always Figi Bona, so proud. <laughs> Fantastic. Will they come Nigeria? When will they come to Nigeria? Well, okay, this is it. Our plan is that we all go to Nigeria this December. And now, let's see. Okay, drastic 100. I try to speak Yoruba to my son, but he only responds in Ukraine. How do I make him switch? It's just three. Um, hmm. Continue speaking Yoruba. Continue speaking Yoruba to him and don't mix it with Ukrainian. Don't you ever make that mistake of mixing your Yoruba with English or Ukrainian. Just stick to your Yoruba. Uh, by the way, uh, are you the dad or mom? And is your, uh, do you have a biracial kid? She means that you travel a lot. I love to travel. It's part of, you, you gain more knowledge when you travel. So, traveling is part of my thing. I, I love to travel a lot. Yeah, officially, you exactly. You should continue to speak to him exactly. Mm. My husband also from Ugumosha. Wow, that's good. Really, really wow. Exactly. My cousin is in London. He's going for your back class with his dad. That's good. Me, I did here. It's Nikki Mam. Oh, my Welcome back on the show. We thought we had just one hour, but now I think it's even more than one hour. We've been here for more than one hour. So, when you people want me to go, <laughs> then I will go. Uh, it's uh, 2.43. Okay, let's do it this way. 2.43 and when it's 3 p.m. here, in the next 17 minutes, then we will end the show. We Mike said she did a master's at Lautech in 2006. Wow, that time I was in uh, 400 level because I graduated in 2007. Ah, okay. Fellow Ladokite. That's very nice. Thank you for that beautiful hint. <laughs> Someone said don't go in December. Ah, I just came back now. I'm not even, I don't even know. That one I will discuss with uh, Niger wife and let's see what happened. Oh, Drastic said that is the dad, the mom is Ukrainian. And the mom speak Ukrainian to your to, to your boy, and then you speak Yoruba. You have to stick to Yoruba and make him watch more Yoruba video. You can watch video of boys also, just to encourage him. Because if you see people like him also, I think you'll be motivated to, to start to, to respond to you in uh, in Yoruba as well. Make him watch some of boys' video, and I think he will love it. Can't risk that, lol. I'm starting to put this here. Abiu. One of the advantages of being bilingual is that your kids can tell you stuff in the midst of people. Exactly. Ah, I want to eat. Let me tell you, let me give you another gist. Though. You know what they are doing to us at home now? Uh, for example, if uh, my wife said, There's no TV for you today, you are not watching any TV today, no cartoon. They will probably be there close to me and they are standing beside me and she's telling them that. But because I don't speak Polish, I wouldn't know what she was telling them. And uh, they will now be like, uh, okay. Then they will switch to Yoruba and they will tell me, Daddy, mommy, ni kweke ba katun sini ori mum mawo. They will make sure, <laughs> they will make sure that they do not use any English word apart from that cartoon that me too, I don't know what cartoon is in Yoruba. So, but they will make sure they will code it very well that their mom wouldn't even know that what they are saying is that they are actually trying to manipulate me to play that cartoon. She already told them there's no cartoon for you today. They will now tell me in Yoruba in front of their mom. Daddy, mom in the cartoon see be So and I will be like, okay, no problem. Then I will go to my phone from YouTube, I will cast it to TV. And then the, the, <laughs> the mom will be like, why do you play it for them? You just, they just told me that you said I should play. He said, no, I said there's no cartoon today. You understand now? So, we don't, we don't even know. We don't, in our house, we don't have secret. It's even not about Litosin. It's not about me learning Polish. Oh. The problem here right now is that we don't have secret. There's no language that you speak. They are, in fact, 
we are thinking me and my wife maybe we should start speaking pigeon to each other at home if you don't want them to understand what we are saying they will manipulate you here right there in front of me in kodi yoruba npe ni pe won ti tami ni yen won ma ta ya won loju mi nbi nsin 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 ko funny o seriously won ma ta wa loju wa nsin 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 now you see, you see the power of language and they know they already know so they they are using that language ability to the fullest ah daddy mo mi so be ke ba gbe cartoon si lori mo ma wo ran and I'll be like, okay. And I'll play it, and the mom will be like, why are you playing cartoon for that? But they just said, you said I should. Play. No, I said they are not watching to them. Like, oh my God, what are they? <laughs> and whenever they want to speak to their mom and they don't want me to understand, of course they will speak pure Polish. When they are speaking Yoruba, they don't want the mom to understand. They will make sure that they remove every English word from it. They will remove every English word. Even they won't even say mommy. Because they know she will, she, will, she, will, she will know what they are talking about. So they won't say mommy. They will say yawa. Yawa. <laughs> wow. So my point here is that our children are very smart. Our children are very, very intelligent. So we don't have to deprive them of this opportunity. If you like, if you want to speak English to your children, speak it English, oh, but don't deprive them of that Yoruba language. Because they can combine it and they will still be okay. It's going to be a very good advantage for them. Sakina HBM, with this, they will be going to school that uses Arabic as mode of communication. The truth is, they can learn English anyway with accents. Exactly, thank you. See, I'll give you one instance. So, I have one friend living here in Finland. The kids have never lived in England before. They have never lived in England before. But when they speak English, they have British accent. And they don't go to English school. They are daycare, they speak Finnish. Their parents are Yoruba. So, you know, we don't have to deprive our children of this great opportunity. They can combine two, three, four, five languages without having any issue. At least if you don't believe it, you can see my children doing the same. So your kids can even do better. Language is very important. Official classity. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point. Okay. I think we have 11 more minutes to go. You want to ask me a question? Ask me. Um... Andy, you have to... <laughs> yes, so it's even better to expose them to different languages as young as possible. It helps with their development. Their brain can absorb so much. Exactly. They said when kids speak more languages, it kind of it helps to reconstruct their brain in a good way. So when I, when I read it, that was like six years ago, I was like, ah. <laughs> this, there, there were a lot of reason why uh, I started speaking Yoruba to, to my voice but that's also one it, it's, it's part of it that's also part of it well done brother yeah exactly so when when you are planning to marry someone uh, from a different tribe have it at the back of your mind that your language should be part and parcel of something that you bring into the table when it comes to your marriage. It's very, very important. Um, thank you. It's worth the time spent. Well done to you and your boys and our very talented teacher, Lekan King Kong. Yes, so, yes, so, yes, so. Well, even when I was away, uh, uh, Lekan was telling me that um, he spoke with boys because they were telling... Uh, Natalia, that uh, they have missed their teacher a lot, and then you know, and then she placed the call to him, and and he told me they had a very good chat. They had a very good chat. I haven't really asked him the content of their chat, but he said they had a very good chat. They they kind of they've been able to build a very strong bond with uh, the Aoluko, and it's something that makes me happy. Also, is the 
the type of person that whenever you write scripts, your children can easily uh, work on the script. So, and he, he loved them also. He calls, I mean, we, I, we actually talk almost every day before I travel. And when I was in Nigeria, I was calling also. And he would just call sometimes to check on the keys and how they are doing and everything. Uh, he's, he's, he's a great friend. He's a great friend. Exactly. He's one of That's great. So, we have nine more minutes to go. Now, I think I'm sure that uh, we have been here more than one hour. Seriously. This is the first time something like this is happening to me. Oh. Uh -huh. The most English on YouTube course. My, exactly. They learn the English from YouTube. Yeah, because boys watch. They watch a lot of, um, a lot of uh, English cartoon also. And Polish cartoon. So, I believe they learn most of the English. And I speak English to... To my wife at home so they have different opportunity to learn the language well my brother like the way your children are you know, my children here but they can't speak it's but because they grow up now uh, okay okay yeah yeah and like i said that's the reason why i try to post videos just to to encourage us that uh, most of the time when kids have issue uh if they understand but they can't speak, uh, it's it's because it comes from the parents. It comes from us. Maybe we, we don't, it's most of the time not intentional, but it comes from us because when you speak Yoruba to your kid and then they respond in English and you make them feel like it's okay to do that, then they get used to it. Then they get used to it. Uh, I'm glad I joined this live video. Time well spent. Jazakum Lao. Hiring. Shakina HPM. Thank you so much. Uh, bye. Who is going? Uh, official class T. Thank you very much. It's more than one hour. Maybe I just miss you. Miss you. Ah, come on, miss me, bro. Where are you? You know me. I do the match. I should go. Ah, Akinade Omolara. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are almost there. Seven more minutes to go. Then I have to prepare to pick up boys for their football training. I remember Chanta, long live the king. Thank you so much, my brother. You're just coming in, I believe, because I haven't seen you before. Thank you so much, my brother, for joining Aremo. Yem Kim Boutique. Thank you so much, Yem Kim. Thank you. Elijah DBC. Yeah, so Z maybe be much. Exactly. And I want them to do this all the time. Anytime I'm having a live Instagram show, maybe and toba and toba and dioro me come as you. So, so, okay. Let me let me play some let me play some music. Alright. Mm. And the funniest part is that our boy is more Fuji. So they know what Fuji is and they love to listen and dance to it. Okay, and it's uh, me 20 feet. How is everyone doing at home? Since I've watched your kids speaking your is now combined. Thank you very much. Exactly that's my point. Now that you watch the video, you made it compulsory for your children to speak the language. Sometimes we need a tab on our back to wake up to do the right thing. And I'm really, really happy that you're doing the right thing. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Yem Kim Boutique. Okay, please send me the link. Which link? Oh, which link? Oh, did I miss that? Which link? F Diva Diva. How are things? They are fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mom to Mom Market dot ng. Thank you so much. The match. Ah. You be real Yoruba man, no, and your mother has like I ever heard Exactly, Abio. Abio, you see, I'm a woman with Ninule Fujinu. 
It be like my Fuji. So because most most especially I want old Fuji and you be a one you love more Ura you for that one because I want you know so or to Nikki me. Say only if you look busy, I ye lori shiri shi. There is Yoruba class everywhere. Yoruba class everywhere. Actually, okay, let me use this opportunity to tell you that um, uh, Yoruba Peking and uh, and uh, Lake of King Kong, we are trying to our own uh, Yoruba class very soon. So it's just our own way of giving back to the society also. And there are also other Yoruba platforms out there that you can use. We have uh, Yoruba for Kids. We have... Um, Sorry, we have Yoruba for kids, we have uh, Yoruba Diwura, we have Akomoli de Yoruba, we have Culture Tree. There are a bunch of them. There are a bunch of them, and I believe they organize Yoruba classes also. So, and they have great content. Wow, someone said, for lack of said, because of your kids speaking on YouTube, I'm, my boss has also speaking. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, um, Niti Trendy Fish said, A lot blessing over you, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Be much. I think you are part of this, our class thing, also. Abi, any level, any administrator. So, I brought all the package from Nigeria, also. I believe we are going to start very soon. Yeah, Niti said, I love seeing my Saki people doing great. Thank you. You are also from Shaki. Oh, Lua, oh, Analiwaja. Thank you so much. Yeah, Dr. Saido Super Try also. Is that Emine Davidi? Emine Davidi is also from my hometown. He's also from Shaki. Thank you very much for joining. Ali Motokoyemi, thank you. Uh, Shaki to the world. Thank you, Davidi. Uh, please, can you highlight this provise on your. on your. for preference, Zedakon? Which one? Which profile? Thank you. T tell me more. Tell me more. Which profile? Ipsta. What do you mean? Trust you, brother. Thank you very much. Alima Tokoyemi, thank you. T Shex, condolence to you, Mr. Mukta from Lagos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Eshel, Ao, Nifureg, Bao. Thank you so much. That's great. This is our four night. Well done. And the T. Yes, so Saki to the world. Wow. Arale Waja. Eshel. I think. One more minute. Do you want us to do more of this? Let me know. And then we will come with different topics. We will discuss about it. We analyze it. We ask each other questions. Do you want us to do more of this? Or do you want to see me doing more of this with kids also? And also, maybe I should do more of this with Naja YP as well. Let's see. Finito Brezi is also from Shaki 101. Thank you. Shaki to the world. Confirm. Thank you. I'm a Yes, 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 please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yamot Gage, Ekbele. Olu Remission, yes, so. Omo Vice Last, if you need to. Tuesday, oh. Every Tuesday, okay. Let's see. Timito Pelua said, yes, so. Your teaching platform you just mentioned. Please put them on your profile so we can check them out. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll put it on the comment section of this video so you can check them out. I'm so I'm joining you guys once for the five day give you I want to go to the blessing you. Thank you, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. So more more but on Tuesday. Okay. Tuesdays, right? Okay, let's see. Maybe 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 we'll start a program with boys on Tuesdays. And then I'll do something with the Niger YP also, where we will explore different things as well. And then um, maybe something just me also. Because Natalia has her own program, so maybe I should have my own program as well. Abby. Tosin said you made me like Shaki. Thank you so much. Aluva <laughs> Mufu. Yamot Gage. Thank you. We might say yeah. Okay. No wala. Okay, I did low time water. Ah, I did low time water. Alone, you can low time water. 
a bit shy, Bugwan, I map out of time, what on a long magic key, O Yabaini. So Mugbala drag me, Bugbo be tea, but I didn't tie the Cocomales, or long about Bumi, Erosibel. Be my son as you send Robo to Texas. I still have more of this Robo, it's there. If I if I give that robot to anyone, boys will be they will be mad. I <laughs> so along along I boom here. I see the bar that didn't tie it. Okay, let's say boom. Cut on the car. One one it did that. Along I bought a shoe. Ah, I need tear so it can mold. Eh, along I just keep carpool. You could deal with boy lady. Moon so. You need shake people. You could join Nigeria. You could be talking about the ballet. You know what you do. And two points. About lost in Nigeria in December. Be prepared. If you have opportunity to invest on second citizenship for your children and family, it's the best legacy you can give them. If you want you want to invest, invest on the place where you are currently living. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest in Nigeria. You can buy land in Nigeria, but I'm only letting the ballot think about what Nigeria now. So, I want advice. Real Yeti Mama, thank you. I want advice. Me, I'm uh, mobile square. Thank you. So, I want advice. Me, Lenny, and you know, and to buy fair investing, to buy fair fuel, we'll show you. Go show you. See, be told me. So, we'll see, be told me to do a matto. Me, Nico Marales in Nigeria, only rally, only rally, want to land on different platforms. You see, don't think calling for Nigeria. Go sing or do Burumbe. But can you imagine you write a lot? Rally, rally, see me to buy a poor and be to buy a palace in Nigeria to buy a good and no one. Only time got to ban him be full of full of where she in Honda Danny Leno was in Nigeria was in God of Burumbe. But if you tell your bank, be talking about the ballet. My problem about investment in Nigeria is that there's no security, there's no protection for your investment. Get out of my alone, hypertension. I'm okay. In C, ninety percent of Nigerians confirm, confirm between the age of thirty upward. No one apparently even see it. Ah, you look by potential. Ah, no man in big by potential. Come on, I go in my lorry. Let millions of naira. I go for money. Let it be. I be in Congo to share. Ah, you look allow. And then they don't matter. They call it. Come, come to. Oh my, enjoy. See your mom. Ati Iyawo, Tema Badwe. But over all, no millions all over of the common shop in Nigeria. In the end, mansion, you won't go in here. Kitchen, you might have a home, a lodge, all because he let down about your consigny. A tower and wood, he lay lang by it. Look, you want to see when you So, you know, I love common shop, no matter what, I don't know, 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 I don't know. So, can you share any care to help me on my self purpose? I wrote you out. Oh, now. Okay, take care. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your message. Book by one, I do that. She, anybody, daddy, waku. Book by Papa Tani Mori, along or Balano. I do it, you know. You will pass away. I'll need you right now. Book by one, one league. Three league. Emma, you know, league, you make a move. Eh, because this is me to one. You are division two. You are missing. I want to go back to division one. Along with you, the division one. This is you. Pay. And to buy a copy of the parents. You come. See, what is the parents? You come like it. Along with you, any promotion or the glory or any parents. They pay by a key. You lose parents. You know. Eh, I want to be one dog. I want to rub one jam. One back, 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 back. And to buy the jacket. You lose it. I want parents. They make it you know. Along with Bala, no, about a pound pocket. Along a young Simon, along a fee, a kilo rupee, a fee, paradise, a fee, Jim Kimo. I want you more than new Bimingi, July, a dark mood, Benny, who went to Balo, Bilay to be real to you, a Jacato Juan will be wow, a Cato Juan will be wow. Like I said earlier before, I, I was a little bit emotional about it because. My plan was, I actually finalized everything. My plan was to bring my dad back here in Finland for him to receive adequate treatment. But I wasn't able to do it. So, I wasn't able to do it. 
division 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 on if one year on necessary promotion, Lori Lori or two one lay you. I probably is he and two one division three is he. Football club, man, but I go on promote that one. Along with promoting in his own and two one division two. Along with if we love necessary promotion, I want to let you one division one. No, so along with Balanu, eh, our Queen, could you bell? No, no, I see division two. You are. Mo de gbala dura pe gbogbo awon ton ba wa lead mi Olorun ni fun yin promotion o eh ni ni promotion o jiji o awon ton re wa division 3 na Olorun a je ki ke pe lead yan da 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 eh eh ni eh ni wa division 2 ni se o awon ta wa division 2 na Olorun o ja lo league yi pe o ah ni de division 1 Olorun wa pelu yin o thank you so much so ke take care o I love you all. I love you. I love you. I love you a million times. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you guys. And hopefully, let's see, probably maybe by God's grace, if it's okay for you guys, we can start a series of programs like this where we can also call you guys in and then you can share your experience and tell us, ask questions. People can ask you questions and stuff like that. Uh, Omar Baba Isla is doing something wonderful about uh, our program uh, where she brings in people to talk about their experience abroad. It's a very, very good program. You should watch it as well. So, hola, 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 take care, hola, 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 h